Hello everyone and welcome back to the Metal Exchange for May 2022. So this is quite an interesting one because we have a lot of units because of the 8th anniversary. I'm actually going to speed run through this because I don't want to waste your time at all. Also quite a few units are going to be a lot better to buy now because of the new level limit break. Also quite interestingly enough there is a new tier here for um, Metal Exchange, uh, the 120 Metal tier. So these units are pretty good. Um, I'd say the first three here are good for the supports. They provide uh, attack boost, orb boost, and affinity by 1.3 times um, for their respective types as supports, so that's amazing. The chopper has a good support giving a uh, threshold reduction, so consider that. But Nami's trash, the last time she was used was when super type Katakuri came out, so she's definitely not worth it. Um, these 100 metal characters, just don't buy them unless you have a surplus of metals and you're missing them and you are a collector, I guess. But they're not worth it at all. Now let's get into the um, 400 metal categories, starting from the top going down. So, here for the first character of Vivi, I'd say she's worth it. She's a flat 5x to um, strength, durable, and free spirit, I believe. She also provides an all boost over multiple turns in a special, a 2 times attack boost in a super type, and obviously having super, super type is amazing. So, just an amazing all around unit. She also reduces special bind in a captain ability. So honestly, a very underrated unit, and I think she's worth it. Moving on to these two, I'd say they're both in the consider tier, tier because they synergize really well together. But um, yeah, a king gives an all boost and a chain boost. Then um, queen gives an attack boost and a um, chain lock. So, and they're both 2.5 times attack and all boosters. So amazing synergy there. They're also flat 5x captains. So honestly, um, yeah, I'd say they're in the consider tier, but they're just not needed for content. Then we have Kata Big Mom, definitely worth it. They are two um, 5x captains uh, in one unit, so so amazing for 400 medals, I'd say. And they also provide good attack and all boosts. Uh, moving on to Kid, he's not worth it for 400 medals. Um, he's a very lackluster dex captain in today's day and age. I mean, he still has his uh, can be used, but and he's still a 5x captain, but he has terrible HP and recovery. And... Um, I mean, he does have a decent attack boost, of, which is 2.5 extra Dex, but Dex just has better units now, and no one uses him anymore. Then we have um, Blackbeard. He has his niche uses, like in his, in, like recently in Grand Voyage against the Luffy stage. He's very useful for his super type. Moving on to the 250 middle category, we have Rayleigh. He is a niche unit because. He, was, he has his niche uses because he's actually pretty good, but the fact is that he has um, the special limiter in his special, which sucks. That that holds him back so much. But he was recently used in the Fushio Village Grand Voyage quest, so amazing unit for that. Then we have Komarasaki, she's never used. Very um, weak attack and all boost, and a very bad captain ability. Bullet has fallen off quite a bit, he doesn't provide much to the crew at all. Um, 250 medals isn't bad for him, he's still. Uh, use still usable for content but just not amazing and there's so much better captains for to use instead of him moving on to the um Sabo koala so they are niche they are the only unit that removes the unfavorable orbs debuff and they provide a decent orb boost um, no i mean attack boost they provide 2.25x attack boost to um free spirit and cerebral i, th I think they also have a, a decent sub effect but not really used um anymore so they like niche i'd say yeah you don't really need them for content then moving on to lofi um still an amazing switch effect and a 2.5 times all boost in the special which is amazing uh katakuri here is uh, just don't he's so useless nowadays i can't remember the last time i used him in a nao normal text only just completely um negates this unit moving on to the 150 middle category or 1505 let me just change that um, Brook has his niche uses. Um, I'd say he's worth it if you are someone who likes the zombie content. But he does have his niche uses in normal play. Shiki's trash. Nami's niche. She provides an all boost and affinity. And um, she's a terrible dex captain, way worse than Kid. Um, but honestly, for 150 medals, isn't too bad. Uh, Judge. Um, with, with his expansion, he's a niche unit, I'd say. With uh, Foboa, she's trash. Usopp, trash. Um, Miok is trash, I'd say. He might be niche, depending on how you use him. 
uh, and then these three are amazing for their level limit break because all of them have become f become five x flat captains, which is amazing. Um, and getting all three all, all three dupes of them in the with the f because as you see, there's a three limit uh, purchase for one fifty mil characters characters. So buying all three dupes for these characters isn't too bad. But wait until we uh, we get the one hundred metal uh, one hundred legends, then. Um, see how many dupes you need after that because you might get all the dupes you need um from that and then you might want to might be wasting your medals that's another thing for all these characters make sure they only buy at the end of the month because you might get these units from the 100 legend tickets that we are going to get um shanks is the best one here i'd say he is basically he's required right now for um to defeat the um local sea monster grand voyage on level five and four so amazing unit and um, so Zora's a 5x to slashes if you have defeated an enemy in the previous turn. So very easy requirement. Uh, Ace is also a 5x uh, attack boost flat in his captain ability to shooters. And then uh, Shanks is a f f uh, flat 5x to Psy units. So that was very quick, running through all the units very fast. And I hope you found the video helpful and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.